I am Red the Cyclone! Daria! Shake it, mama, shake it for me. Get me busy with that ass, 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 ass. Work it good, work it the best. Ooh, let me know I do. Ass, 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 ass. I can make you shake if you want to be. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of the It Gets Better I Swear podcast. I'm your host, Louis Beans, and I'm here with. Mark with the mic. What's going on? What is going on? Chillin' chillin' Mark. What it is? Scott Steiner just likes interrupting shit. He's around the world <laughs> in, in less than 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. But other than He's that, got superpowers. Uh, a lot of wrestling, a lot of gaming, a lot of stuff coming. It's a, It's been crazy. <laughs> yeah, New York Toy Fair uh, hit... Uh, this weekend, so they show, they show some cool stuff. Um, uh, I'm excited to see the Biker Mice from Mars motorcycles getting released. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you watch the original cartoon, they had the motorcycles. Uh, Vinny had like more of a sports bike, and the other two kind of had more of a Harley Davidson kind of style. Um, so they're coming out. They look they look like they're like they're they're cartoonish. Like they they look like they're from the show. I'm actually happy that they are getting the bikes because biker mice from Mars without the bikes are just mice from Mars. So <laughs> it, it makes no sense to have them without the bikes. But um, their retail price is $35.99 for each, which is not bad for a vehicle. But I wish it came with the, the mouse itself. I, I wish it was like together. So Vinny coming with his and all that stuff. And I think you do it at one price point. And I would think that would have been better. I agree with that. They could. I mean, if they had did what they did back in the day, right? Yeah. I thought there was a two a two types of options because I bought the original. It didn't come with a damn motorcycle, but I also believe wasn't there a version that did back in the day? Yeah, later or on, what? later on they they did uh, pair the, pair them with the bike. I mean, what are we doing here? Come on. Yep. Stop trying to get everybody for every last dime. It ain't right. Well, they announced a bunch of things. I know. Playmates, There's a lot of stuff. Uh, it's a lot of stuff, sir. Uh, so some of the things that 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 I I will spot out just because I was interested in it is more. Uh, so playmates are going to do the 2003 line. So they're planning to remake the 2003 figures. So and also Super Seven, I think, is doing them as well. But they haven't showed anything on those yet. Now, when you say 2003, which show is that? That was the Mirage which, uh, one. Which... Hmm. Oh, needs to come five. on which channel? Channel 5. One, two, three, four, Turtles. No one better, Turtles. <laughs> oh, the... I didn't, I didn't, okay. I didn't watch that one. That one, I will say, this. that was the one that me and Tommy are going through now. Um, and I will definitely say from season 1 to 5 is well worth watching. Really? Okay. After five, that's when it goes to kitty. It goes to back for back to, uh, fast forward and all that bullshit, and that was something good. But um, season one through five, extremely good to watch. What what style like of gear did they have that made them stand out? Did they look different or were they look exactly? They the look. Same? They went more to the comic book. But so they, they had like, like, more of an anime approach to it. But it, it, it kind of oh. the storylines are just. The storylines were a lot more cons- uh, consistent. Um, they did a lot of three parters, two parters, and they even have like one whole episode that they kind of redid the movie in, in its own little way, um, like the first movie and shit. Um, mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. have a lot of different new characters. They have like some superhero versions and things like that. They even have like a last Ronin kind of episode in season three. So there, there's a lot of cool stuff. And then Yusaku Jimbo's in it, and they do a they do like a Mortal Kombat tournament in that in that show as well with the battle nexus so did that did that have an impact on I, I think, storylines like like you said last ronin you think um, you think somebody saw that and took inspiration from that yeah i can see that um so 
it, the Mirage comic also had like a storyline similar to it. So a lot of the stuff came from the Mirage comics. Uh, Peter Letter was really hard of a very head on the storylines of this cartoon. So like the first five seasons is very heavy with the cart with the comic book. So it's easy to it, it is like a very fun watch because I think the voices are on point. Turtles are on point, the characters around them are on point, and I think the storylines like uh, speak for itself. Um, it's on all on Paramount, like um, Paramount Network, they have it all on there. So the 2003 series is really worth watching. We are up to season five on, on Our Shell Shock, so we're we're slowly going through that season, but it's been so good. Okay, I, I was not expecting that. Yeah. Again, so the, I didn't I did not see that. So. I'm, Okay, did you, since you're not finished yet, but you have a good idea for that series, Yeah. where would you put it in um, terms of which ranking of Turtles you've watched so far? So, so far we did the 89, we did the next mutation, and then we did this one. Right now, this one is, is on top. On really? Top. Okay. Okay. 89, right. 89 is hard because... The first three seasons are decent, and then the rest goes to a weird place, and then the later seasons are okay, but it was never, like, a consistent storyline or anything like that. There are great things that you remember as a child and stuff like that, but the nostalgia factor of it, for me, wasn't there. Like, I, I didn't... I wasn't crazy about the 89 cartoon. Like, I, there was things, episodes and stuff I liked, but other than that, there's some that I just didn't care for. Did they, Did they reveal this weekend... The Don no, figure. No. I, I, it's, it's a wishful thinking for me. I, I want the Don Totelli. I could see where they could make Don Totelli, because I also see another four pack they could easily do, and that's the Turtles in the gangster suits. So mm-hmm. like I could see where he could fit in, but he's I think he's that that obscured character that a lot of people don't fucking just want to do. He's he, gotta show up. But he just that's tickles feet. Point. Yeah. I, I want Don to tell you, and that's gonna be. You gotta make one. some noise, Mert. I see yeah. there's so I don't know what happened to the cartoon. Yeah. The new one. But I saw that it's trending because people are saying un it's, it's called unfreeze, unpause, unpause, uh, and it says the name of the the most current series of turtles. Oh, you talking about the. It's, it's like it stopped. They they didn't cancel it. Like they paused, like they stopped it or something like that. Oh, rise. Yeah. Rise. Yeah. Rise got a pause. So basically, they did a movie, and then if the movie did well, Netflix was gonna make another one off of the Rise class. But they're actually planning to do another se- season of Rise because Rise is not dead yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Rise was good. I enjoyed Rise. Um, again, I I don't think. Uh, uh, there's, there, I'll say that there are bad turtle series, and that's like Next Mutation. That was bad, hundred percent bad. I can't say nothing good about that one, at all. I have nothing to say good about that series. Really? No. Like not even no. that version. Like they didn't have a cool version of some bad guy or no. a good guy. No. Nothing. No. No. Wow. It, it, that, there's nothing good in that series. I, I will say that straight up. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe the gangster gorilla just because it, it found it hilarious. Like he's the the gangster from the, the Himalayas and shit. That made me that laugh. Is the, that's his name. The yeah. gangster from the Himalayas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's the gangster from the Himalayas, and he was like fucking uh, Sasquatch in a suit. That's pretty. And, funny. And that's the only thing I could say that highlight, but he wasn't that great either. But that <laughs> I would say that was like the worst, worst of worst. Um, the 2003 series was great. 2012 series I loved. Uh, I really loved. But uh, Rise was good. Rise was in. Uh, if you're gonna watch Rise, think of it as Teen Titans Go. Don't take it serious. Okay. Uh, Teen Titans Go is great. Like I fucking I love the show. I had my issues of it in the beginning, but when I actually started watching watching it and doing seeing what they're doing, yo, that shit has me fucking all like like stomach hurting laughing because of the dumb shit they do. And that's just kind of like Rise. Rise kind of has that style of it. They go more comedic and stuff like that. Like Spencer was a a has a, like, was 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 a movie star, and that's uh, that's how he taught them how to fight is the fact from his movies and shit. But he's a little fat rat now; he was not in shape anymore. 
but um but that's how they learn and shit like that and and it kind of went more into the mystical parts of things and if people saying oh it's not connected to the turtles no it is connected to the turtles so if you actually want to go really into history of where wise came from um after the first run of the books from mirage after the first 12 books when they relaunched it they relaunched it with a part one that went more into a mystical side of the turtles and it was that book that they based rise off of Raphael had the the billy clubs mikey had a different weapon they all had different weapons and they all look like the turtles that they are now like the bandana was fully over Raph's head things like that so a lot of the inspiration came from that series okay Okay. So if everyone says, "Oh, it has nothing to do with," it. no, it has something to do with. It. Like again, iterations of it. Like again, turtles are going to be iterated all the time. Is the reason why because the new generations are watching it, and that's something I had to. Uh, that's something I hundred percent had to take in consideration, especially us reviewing turtles, reviewing Power Rangers, and things like that. I always have to give uh, put in that is is made for a new generation and the new different eyes and things like that but as long mm-hmm. as the story is consistent that's the reason why that's where i go with is if the story is telling me a story and is being very consistent i think that the last one that y'all started like that's the best one so far. so far is the best one yeah because oh, it's the, right. i wasn't expecting that i think that's that's a surprise to me O three, 3 i think was a lot of people's first turtles and i think what gives O3's series a bad taste is when they went too fast forward. When they became fast forward and they went, and went back to the sewers, those are like three, two different series, but they mm-hmm. considered them season six, season seven, six, season eight, season nine. Um, they weren't good. They, they kind of went different Understood. animation. They kind of went Understood. more child friendly. It kind of had that Sonic X with the fucking child protagonist and shit. Um, and it annoyed the shit out of me and I, I think that's where it went from there but when you watch from season 5 which was a lost season season 5 was a lost season but season 4 1 through 4 you see the consistency in the storyline you see the story in fucking Shredder that's probably one of the evil Shredders you get in that, in all the Turtles like, that okay, Shredder okay. was fucking evil like okay. he wanted he will destroy a planet and not give a damn <laughs> Because he was a, a Utoad. He was a fucking crane. He had no honor. He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he wanted everyone dead. And that was the big thing about that Shredder. That he was not human. He was not in that code of honor of the foot and shit like that. Mm-hmm. He he will kill you and have no sympathy for it. He's like, bye, peace. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So, All right. But that's a series I definitely think you should check out. Is that Turtle series. Um, it's, it's a fun series to watch. It's on Paramount. Mm-hmm. You probably find it on YouTube. Okay, okay, that's good stuff. But we saw was... um, Storm Collectibles showed a shit ton of figures too. Yeah, I saw lots of really good stuff that I'm interested in. I saw. I had to make sure it was Storm, the Skullon Mania. That one's I saw on that lineup. I didn't. Well, this nobody expecting that uh, nobody announced that skull on mania you kidding me he's not even in the current game ex that's layer. so that's, random that's the game he is in it's so random so i i really that's that's like the number one on my radar like i'm sure sure the other ones i saw they are probably like more badass uh, in, in terms of you really don't see them either and they're they look more colorful and vibrant and the ones i'm talking about are the king of fighters ones you showed me yeah which are really good they have was it go go nets they had k dash which again he's on my radar that's my favorite character in king of fighters um they had k no kyo kyo um and rio and then i saw they had not storm collectibles but also there's a specific type of figure that that snk got into where it's got the real clothes yeah and the also the interchangeable heads and i saw that they're making i don't know if you remember the character her name is yuri yeah, yeah. it's a uh, rio sister okay she's like the karate girl she's like she looks kind of she's similar to sakura and that she's like she's the girl that throws fireballs in king of fighters so you know how sakura is like the ryu ryu of street fighter she's the same equivalent and then they're making a mod 
which you know everybody and their grandmother's gonna pick up a, a yep. my figure if they can yeah a my statue yep yep Hope so. <laughs> mm-hmm. um yeah they show some cool stuff they show some future age ones too and well, that one, the one you sent me, that was from last. That was from last year. Oh, okay. So I guess they're probably they're probably finished now. Probably close to releasing them. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. probably almost done with the whole thing. Uh, the Turtles of Grey Skull looked really cool. I, I actually might have to get that series. And you said that's who NECA or is that a different company? That's uh, um, that? that's Mattel, I think, doing them. Oh, straight up Mattel. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's going to be a team up. Is that the first time they did that? Uh, Turtles, yes. There was originally there was originally supposed to be a line back in the nineties, like early nineties, uh, late eighties, early nineties, a team up with the Turtles, and it never happened. And he man, uh-huh. yeah. okay, that's cool. That is actually very cool. Yeah. So, we're getting a, a team up with that. Other than that, that's all the kind of, like, they, it's a bunch of things they showed, but those are the ones that I kind of, like, just highlighted because those are the things I liked. Um, but yeah, a lot of tours coming. Mm-hmm. A lot of games are coming, too. And, um, October 13th, I think, uh, Sony's gonna allow you to download and pre download Spider Man 2. You said October 13th? Yep funny you mentioned that that's the same day that i think it was it was it ign or was it GameSpot? no 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 it wasn't them i want to say it was somebody like Eurogamer or game informer okay that posted that their their review goes live on that day so uh, now it makes sense so they announced i think uh Samyak announced everything they announced that all the reviews of spider-man are going to uh, come out october 16th And then okay. I think, and they said like because they're doing the embargo right now, like most people cannot spoil anything because people did get the test, the test, the test code in for to for them to review. So Spider Man mm-hmm. is like it's already like it's done, it's ready to come out, it's ready to go. Uh, they do have their trophy list um, up if you're interested in looking at the trophy list. I refuse to look at anything until I see the game myself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but you can pre-download it on your system if you bought it digital uh, October 13th. And yes, October that 20th, makes sense. Makes sense. Why not? They're going to have a big presence at uh, New York Comic Con, so stay tuned for that. Also, why not? It's Spider-Man. Yep. <laughs> Why not? Uh, have they showed? See, here's the thing. I guess maybe they don't want to, or they don't need to, right? They don't need to before the game comes out if they haven't already. Have they shown Venom in action, like doing anything? Um, they have pictures of him attacking. No, but, I mean, like, is but, there footage, no. official footage of him, like, in motion? They have not. Okay. I, and I okay. think I, okay. I think they do that on purpose. I, I think yeah, they yeah, yeah. Want, don't I want. You could probably predict who it is if you see him move. Or no, because I see the pictures. Yeah. He's just a ma- he's just a mountain of a monster. He, he doesn't look like anyone. He doesn't like any. <laughs> he doesn't look like anybody. Why you had a limp? Who had a limp? <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Why you gotta say that? <laughs> Why Not damn Flash Gordon, the Flash Thompson. I It'd saw you cool. broke that your name. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, you say that, but they were safe, right? They went with the original t- uh, body type of venom. Now, it yeah. would be cool if they straight up could use the Flash Thompson version for something on the side. Yeah. That would be cool. I could see uh, one of Spider Man's like, alternate costumes being that. Yeah, because well, he has a symbiote. Yeah. So that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's not I can see that. I what I what like there's a little prediction. What I said was I was like you're definitely gonna fight Peter Parker as well. Mm-hmm. I think he's 100 percent that you're gonna fight. You him have, him. but you yeah. but I don't even think that's a for a, a thing to spoil. It's just that it makes sense. <laughs> it's that's what happens when he gets the suit and you see him getting the attitude. You have to fight him. Yeah. You gotta beat some sense into him. But I'm so excited. But um, as I know, I've been just playing Starfield, and that's all I've been playing. I have a ridiculous amount of hours on that. 
I'm, I'm ashamed to say how many hours I have on the game right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I see, yo, and the funny thing is, there's three things I have not done officially yet because it just takes too much. I haven't built a like a a thing of, on land, like a like a resourcer or some shit on land, which I I. I just, I was like, that's a lot of shit. I don't feel like doing it. And then the spaceship. I really want to make my own spaceship, but the amount of shit you need and the amount of shit that you have to do to in order to make a decent spaceship, I'm just like, uh. So I, I'm looking at videos of like existing sh- um, ships and seeing what you could do to update those, and that's what I'll do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's it's a good game. I enjoy, I'm enjoying it. I, I spent a lot of time on it. Um, I'm going to a kind of an alternate route this time because I already did the star. I'm, I'm a starborn and shit. But um, like I'm saving the Crimson Fleet this time, not uh, taking them out. So I'm gonna save them, see where that goes, and see what all the story, other story arc things I could do. And I found some other story shit that I missed. So it, it's a it's a it's a lot of game. A lot of game. Good. I think it should be like that. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing more and more and more. It's not just. See, I wish I could say where these are coming from. Yeah. But I'm seeing more and more of these statues popping out of like King of Fire. I just see like a ridiculous Iori one. It's probably a thousand dollars. Probably. It's probably a thousand dollars. Because a lot of those are custom too, so they only do like a thousand. It says, no, the date is TBD, but it is from Speculative Fiction Collectibles. I'm going to say it is probably 500 to to $1,000, but it yeah. looks ridiculous. Just, again, since this, this whole toy thing, toy fair weekend is going on, there's a lot of stuff coming out. Yeah, I saw the Batman Animated Series ones that has a Condiment King you build. I'm like, damn, I might have to buy five bucks. <laughs> like, God fucking damn it. The fact that you got is he a statue build. though, or is he no, like it's a, a figure? figure? It's a build a figure. Yeah, it's okay, a build a figure. Okay. It's a Batman anime series, so you got to get Batman, Robin, Ice, uh, Mister Freeze, and Scarecrow, and they all come to the pieces of Condiment King. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I, those are characters I would actually buy those. So I was like, I don't mind, but shit, I gotta buy four figures in order to get damn Con- Condiment King. <laughs> I, I mean, it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Yeah, the fact that they made Condiment King as a fucking figure, I was just extremely happy about that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I was like, yeah, Condiment King. I was I showed Jinkies that because he was, he was happy to see that too. Is Condiment King his favorite villain? I don't know. Maybe. He knows of him, though. They're doing Batnips, Batman, so they're doing Batman and Robin figures. Are they going to do Batgirl also? Yeah, Batman Girl's in the set. No and they're gonna do Mr. F- are they doing Arnold Schwarzenegger and Uma Thurman? So oh, they no. only showed Uma Thurman and they only showed and they showed Batgirl and Batman. They haven't shown no one else. But I think they're gonna come. I think they're gonna be part of it too. I, I don't see them not doing Schwarzenegger and shit. Oh, it's a builder. For, uh, no, it's a builder freeze. There you go. He, he's in there. Nice, nice. I so hope you, it is. I hope it's his likeness though, because that movie is. Yeah, it can't be anybody else. Can't be a generic face. Nah, it it's, it's, it's 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 him. Okay, all right. He actually right. looks kind of good. So it's four figures as well, and then you build uh, Mr. Freeze. Okay. He's the builder figure. Not so, Bane. <laughs> no. So is uh, Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy, Batman, and Robin, and Batgirl, and they all build uh, Mr. Freeze. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not mad. Yeah. I'm not mad because they did. Didn't they do everybody else? For, didn't they do like a, not a build day, but since this is all coming out now and they're all doing all of the um, classic stuff, didn't they already make a figure for what's him to call it? Right, Michael Keaton. Yeah, they did Michael Keaton. They didn't Before, do Val Kilmer. Already. Oh, they didn't do Val Kilmer. Uh. Or they haven't done the Riddler or. Oh, so they didn't do Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So I, I, I want the, I will definitely get the Jim Carrey if I, they do Jim Carrey. Yeah, if they got the rights to them and yeah. to do their thing, yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. All right, all right. 
Wait, so this seems interesting just because of the way it's done is being done. Do you think they will continue on into the the, the current Batman? They've been doing the current Batman. They did uh They have. It did begins Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rising. Did they also do the build a figure in any of those lines? No. The, they they just started no, doing okay. the build a figure. Oh, okay. okay. Recently. So that, the first, that has me interested. Yeah. Right. yeah, so the first two lines of that build a figure, the four and then build a figure is uh the Batman anime series and the Batman Robin movie. Okay. It's but I can okay. see them doing extra extra characters and whatnot too. I mean, they could. They, if you do the animated series, you have a forever line. Basically, there's yeah. so many characters in there they could do. Yeah, even the scare ones, I would like. Like, I, I would like the later on Scarecrow because I thought he looked sick. The one with the noose. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the red face. Yeah, the, like the, the red. Ch- the one from uh, Over the Edge. No, I'm talking about the one from. The one with from the Tim Drake, the Tim Drake seasons. Yeah, yeah. That where one. he had the black, he had the black hat on. Yeah, he had a reddish neck, face. And he had the black trench coat. Yeah, that's the one over the edge. That's the the episode. That's the one episode I know from that series. The fact that when, uh, okay. Okay. he took over Batgirl's mind well, and going that was, after Batman and shit. The, see, the face was for that episode because in his normal face, he just still looked like a, a ugly pumpkin headed man. With the, the the crooked teeth, yeah. yeah, 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 coming out of the mask and stuff. His weird. design was good in that one. There's yeah. some designs yeah. that were. Mister Freeze was good in that one yeah. in that second season. The, some the, designs the, just were... the head. Yeah, the head with the spider legs. Yo, that was disturbing the first time I saw that. I was like, yo, he doesn't have a body anymore. That's crazy. Some of the, the designs were off. I didn't like Joker anymore because he didn't have the red lipstick and shit. I didn't like uh, Catwoman. Ah. Catwoman had that white face. I liked it. I'll tell you what I liked about the Joker is because they gave him the shark eyes. Yeah. He had those. He just had pupils. He had. <laughs> he had. No, he had no whites to his eyes. That boy was gone. I didn't like he Catwoman. Was gone. Catwoman. I don't remember the Catwoman from that series. It's not the gray one because that's the original series. Cat. Nah, oh, shoot. the one with the white face. Yeah. I like didn't she care. was dead. Yeah. Like I guess they probably based that one off of the Michelle Pfeiffer one a little bit because it has stitches on the suit. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't. She. I like the original one better. That's yeah. true. That's true. I didn't care for that one. Well, the original one was fucking. Oh, that was awesome. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think that I. You know what? That's true. I think that Catwoman is probably one of the best designed Catwoman they did. Yeah. Like, uh, out of all the Catwoman suits, like the gray one with the gold, mm-hmm. the gold belt. Yeah, that's pretty good. I hundred percent agree with that. But yeah, we could see there's a lot of things they could do. They could do a lot of Justice League figures as well. Justice League. That's what I'm saying. They do Justice League Unlimited. They got unlimited characters right there. Yeah, you could do the cowboy. I don't know his name, but he's just You can like, finally get you can finally get a really good Hawkman and, Haw- and Hawk Girl figure. There you go. There you go. Plastic Man. True. Plastic Man it is. There you go. Damn. <laughs> right no because i'm just thinking about you you mentioning that and he is he's plastic man is kind of a an anomaly he's he was one of the most popular dc characters like in the 80s yeah he has his own cartoon 70s. series yeah yeah like in 70s coming into the 80s he was one of the most popular characters and he just fell off yeah and it's not even that yeah i know you can't put plastic man in a dark gritty story and stuff you don't need to but they really just stopped using him yeah they really stopped yeah he had he had a couple of series like the later on but they weren't as good because i think you do need a light-hearted character like that for kids and we're we're for our thou plastic man he was Darn. not for the kids he was a perverted little he yeah. was not this was this he was people was, making him out to be that he was a sir <laughs> sir he could turn into a he could turn into a buggy man leave him alone <laughs> yeah he turned into a buggy right <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah I, I actually like yeah i didn't like her new design it was just like she looked like a black cat but it didn't have the human appeal like the human look to her croc was fine Croc was fine yeah, because he looked like a monster. Mm-hmm. No, and they did, they have not done Batman Beyond, right? 
Uh, they have figures of Batman Beyond. They have done uh, quite a few of the characters. No, no, I mean, but in that, in this specific style. No, they have not. So yeah, then, then you, there you go. Then you got that. Build a, you could build another Mister Freeze and build the the Batman Beyond Mister Freeze because he's huge. Yeah. That'll be the giant suit he had. Or that bulk, or whatever it was called. I would, I would <laughs> so no, no. But do you get that? Just, just characters who don't exist in figure form, as far as I know, like yeah. Ink. Yeah. Ink should be, Ink should come back. Ink, Ink, Ink has a figure on uh on the DC. Oh, like in a, as in like they, they the, yeah, yeah Mc, made Mc, McFarlane, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, they made her. Really? They made her. They made Soundwave. They made Spellbinder. They made the that that the main villain, the the, the dude that just went atomic and shit. Of guys, of guys name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the. the they made st- him. Um, What's his name. They made him. His name wasn't Meltdown, was it? Meltdown, yeah. I don't yeah. think it was. I think it was Meltdown. They made him. They made some of the the Justice League from that series, like Old Man Superman and shit like that. But they didn't. They didn't make all the characters. I think they, that's something they can make. There's some characters like the obscure ones that they can make as well. Like, um, I guess like like the, the, like the like the um. Oh, okay. The His Flight name was game. Blight. His name yeah. was Blight. Like the Warrior Flush Gang, they didn't make figures of those. I would oh, they didn't make the Warrior Flush Gang? Yeah. Did they make the Jokers? Uh, they didn't make the Jokers. They made, uh, no, they didn't make Jokers. They have, no, they didn't even make the the Joker from the movie either. So that, there you go, they have something. Oh, there. the Return of the Joker, yeah, yeah. And when the, the, when the school bullies became a Joker and we had the long hair, he kind of had like a crow looking shit, he was fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of characters like that, but there's some really weird ones too. That I, like I'm looking at them. Yeah, 2D man. Do you remember 2D man? Yeah, he's a Batman <laughs> Beyond villain. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Magma, who looks like Killer Croc. I mean, not Killer Croc. Who looks like um, Clayface, but he's molten. Oh, that was like uh, the, that was like the Fantastic Four characters they did. It was three mm-hmm. of them. It was 2D man. It was a woman, and then it was molten. And then they Do were. Do you remember? They were heroes. Matt's- do you remember Mad Stan? Yes. <laughs> you do? I think so. He looks kind of like the Punisher, like a, like a just a dude with a vest on, a tech vest on. Yeah, I think I Mad Stan. Yeah, I think. Yeah. This a this a you when you go yes, through. Yes, because he didn't last pilots. long. He was only on one episode, and then he got yeah, caught, and then he was and then he got fucked up, and then he tried to do it again, but they put him on a virtual reality to do. Ramrod, I remember him. He was a henchman. That bounty hunter it would be a cool figure with the, the, the chick with the blue chick with the sword. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She would be I cool forgot character. about her. Like this dude. Let's um, see. This joke. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of. Shriek is the other one. Shriek, the 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 person with the they suit did, on. They did make Shriek. They made Shriek. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. they made Shriek. They made Shriek. They made Spellbinder. They made Bright bl- uh, Blight. They made ink, but the oh, rest of the, the characters they did not. So the the blue chick was a ver- was from their version of the assassins. It says the Society of Assassins. Yep. That's where she was from. Cool. Terminal was a really cool character too. Which one you said? Terminal. Terminal. I'm trying to look. Terminal. Wow, I didn't know Talia was in that. Oh, this is, I guess she was in one of the movies, I guess. Because yeah. it says DC Animated Universe. Yeah. That's not the regular show. The regular Batman Beyond. Yeah. Because remember, he also Terminal. Oh, the, yeah, with the, with the skull face. Yeah, you yeah, look yeah. like a badass. I remember. Yeah, Make yeah more there's, Batman there's a few. Figures. There's a few. Make more Batman Beyond figures. Dude. Willie Watt. Remember Willie Watt? Willie Watt, yes. The nerd that had the... the the telekinesis because the of the robot, thing he yeah. had the rope with the big ass yeah they call it the golem yeah big remember. tim was that the name on the golem it was the dude that grew he had the, st- the steroids and shit and half his body grew and he still had a, st- uh, a small <laughs> the small so, yeah i remember yeah batman beyond had some definitely they had some out there villains man yeah yeah all right but yes make more batman Jesus. beyond Jesus. I don't remember free. Oh, the girl was Freon. That's her from the Fantastic Four thing you talked yes. about. Yes, I got you. Yes, it was. Uh, it was a three. It was a trio. It was the Molten Man, her, mm-hmm. and the two D guy. And then they became villains. They were like Robin Banks and shit. And there's a Hush Beyond. Yes, that was in a comic book though. Is in a comic? Yes, yeah, I see it. But the comic book series is actually quite good. Really? Yeah. 
and they introduced uh, they introduced uh, Dick Grayson and all that shit into it. Now, damn, I kind of want to look back and read this because it says his name is Richard Grayson, Richard Grayson, but not Dick Grayson. Isn't I know it's the same name, but wasn't actually Richard the father? No, he it, it, he's always been Richard Grayson, okay, but they okay, call him Dick. Okay. But right. the way they did uh, him in this, he was kind of like Nick Fury. Really? He looked like Nick Fury. He had like the the patch in the eye and all that shit. Uh, okay. okay. But um, the the comic books are pretty good. Like the they they had a good writer. Tim Drake was Batman Beyond for a little while, and then Terry McGinnis became the we reclaimed it and shit. Hmm. But it, it's it's a really good uh, comic book series. It's still going okay. today. They still have a good, uh, good. Wait, today. this still a current Batman Beyond series? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. It's still running. All right. They'll That's they'll stop cool. it and they'll stop it and we we launch it a bunch of times, but they they it's still running. It's good stuff. All right, we're going to this movie. Yes, sir. This movie. This week's movie is Dread with two Ds. That is from 2012. It is rated R. Better be. It is an hour 35. Uh, so here we question. Did you see this one in the theaters? It says, I did see this in theaters. And they really hyped it up to be 3D. And you had to watch this in 3D. I, I get it. When you see the slow-mo and stuff and the way some of the scenes were filmed, I get it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it would have added to the movie or not. Did it, did it did it for you? Did you see it in 3D? It, yeah, I watched it in 3D. It was okay. Um, it for so I, this one thing I'll give this movie credit for the budget they had. They did the what they could do. Okay. They did the best okay. of what they could do with what the budget they had. You could tell what scenes were going to be the 3D, going to be in your face kind of scenes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it was there. Like you, you saw which ones were going to be it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, the premiere. Damn, they have a lot. Uh, September twenty first, twenty twelve. It says. Um. Directed by Pete Travis. Let's see. Do you know anything that Pete, Pete Travis, Travis has directed? Besides Dread. He did uh. The Vantage Point, The Gunman. And that's about it. I know the mm-hmm. I know the stunt crew. They did Daredevil. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, nothing, not very familiar. Uh, writing credit, excuse me, credits: John Wagner uh, and Carlos es- Esquera. Uh, now, it also says in the credits for the writing, it says Judge Dre created by. So did the did it actually have the guys from the movie? I mean, yeah, the guys they, from the movie were the guys from the books. Yeah. The, uh, so the one of the main writers were 100 percent on the the comic book itself, and he he helped write this book. Uh, Carlos okay. Curious, that he's the one of the original writers of Dredge. Okay, that's cool. He also wrote that's the cool. original movie too. Oh, the original movie. All right. All yeah. Right. Not bad. Um. Well, he did the Iron Man game too. Which one? The XO. He wrote that game. It's, wait, what? Yeah. No. You talking about the one for PlayStation? Yeah. Iron Man. No, 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 no. You can't just say that. <laughs> you know, you know how bad and obscure that game is. You can't just say that. He wrote the Iron Man X O Man of War game. Ugh. And then um the other dude uh, he wrote oh he wrote History of Violence. Really? Uh, John okay. Ragnar. He wrote History of Violence. Okay. But he also wrote uh, a lot of Dread stuff. See, I'm not familiar with any of the Dread books. I did not read them. They're like ultra violent comic books. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it was just it was a different time. I was probably that was definitely on the younger side when they were like coming up. So that just wasn't in my wheelhouse. Yeah. I could tell Dread was a more mature for more mature people. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we have. The cast we have Carl Urban. 
He is. What is his character's name on the boys? Because I haven't watched it. Uh, he is. Fuck. Can't Isn't it like something vaguely racist? Because <laughs> he's like his ethnicity. No. no, no. Yeah, they, the it's not like the butcher. Irish. Um, man, is it? but Billy the Butcher. Billy the Butcher. Okay. Um, he is Judge Dredd. Yes. And he never takes his helmet off. He's, That's you awesome. know, well, fun fact with him now, he's in one, two, three, four. He's in four different comic book published movies. Is it around shows. the same time? Like he's in Is the boys. Around... Oh well, that's recent. So now no. he's in um, Thor. Yeah, he's the true. executioner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's in a DC movie. I forgot what movie he was. I've been blanking what movie he's in. And then he's also in. A, well, he was also in Doom. Yeah, I remember Doom. I remember Doom. There's another comic book shit that he was in. Uh, he was Thor Ragnarok. He was in. Oh yeah, he was in Star Wars too. He's in Riddick, the original Riddick. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know he was in Riddick. That's cool. That's cool. Born yeah. Supremacy. He's in both Riddicks. Wow. Okay. He's in Priest. He's in Lord of the Rings, obviously. Uh, he was in Xena Warrior Princess in 12 episodes as Oh snap! I know who he is. Yeah, he was—he was Julius Caesar in that show, and that was like a, a, a slightly recurring character. That was him. Damn. Well, he was in the red. That's where he was in. He was in red. Yes. So he's like in a bunch of comic book. It's blowing my mind. Yo, how old is this? <laughs> is he? Is he the Forever Man? Because he he's 1972. Like he, he's he's in his 40s. Nah, he's nah, in, he's maybe he's in his 50s now. Yeah, yeah. He's in his 50s now. He's like 52 like, now. Damn, dude. Bro was Good in Xeno Warrior person. <laughs> Good for him. It's just so it is just so crazy just because I watched I've probably seen every episode of Xeno because remember it was back in the day on yeah. TV. Yeah. You had no choice. Yeah. If you watched what Channel 11 on the on the, the weekend. Yeah, you got Nightman but, and Xeno Warrior Princess. It was uh, no Nightman was Channel Nine. <laughs> Nightman was Channel Nine. It was it was the it was the block. It was Hercules and Xena. That's what it was. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast, I think, was before that. I yeah. didn't watch Beauty and the Beast. No, that was trash. That. that was when CW started. No, no, no. This was before. This was before CW. This is way before. Oh, CW. you're talking about the one with Ron Perlman? No, that was a. See, there was. <laughs> no, it wasn't called Beauty and the Beast. Then. It was Beast. It had a different name. Yeah, was, yeah. Yeah. That was C- that was like right be- like beginning CW. Okay, so that was before, right before. Yeah. So I'm like, it was not branded that. I remember that. Um, but then again, CW did re- air reruns. Yeah. And I was watching it when like the Wayans brothers were on there. So technically, and also, the Wayans brothers was in that era. Think, um, sci-fi did a lot of Xena marathons and shit. Mm, true that. Well, we got Rachel Wood. Control Operator 1? That's weird. Olivia Dunbury as Anderson. That's like, what's up with this? What's up with this, uh. Huh, I don't like the way they do their the casting. Yeah, they, they got, don't like no, it either. They got no names. Yeah. They have Andy Mangati as Passenger. It is just all out of order here. They have Portius Xanadu as Driver. That's not a character. Here we go. Jason Cope as Zwerner. We have Olivia, Thur- like I said, Thurlby as Anderson. Yeah, she was we in have... Juno. She was, huh? She was a bro- our best friend. Oh, that's. Oh, now she looks more familiar. Okay. Uh, Rocky Ayola was Chief Judge. Uh, we have Lena Headley as Mama. Uh, we have Tamer Barat. Yeah, Burjack. As Mama Bodyguard, that's very descriptive. Warwick Cr- uh, Grier as Caleb. Wood Harris as K. Did we? Did we have Wood Harris in another movie um, that we were doing? Oh, he's an Ant Man. He's an Ant Man. He's an Ant Man. Um, I feel like in one of the recent ones though, we saw that he was in it. Uh. 
Mm. Let's see. No, 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 no. We haven't got something well, anyway. yet. So. It was just Ant Man. Yep. Um, we got. Let's see. Deobia Opare as Paramedic TJ. We have Patrick Leister as Control Operator 2. Uh, yeah, what is up with this? this? Okay, we have Joe Vaz as Big Joe. There you go. There you go. And Big Joe gang member Marty Kintu. Uh, yeah, I guess you could count them. Francis yeah. Chola as Judge at Interest. Daniel Hadaby as Judge at Interest. Because the judges, they don't really have the names. Yeah. So the last three are the ones but that... The like, judges are important. They're, they were the evil ones. Judge Lex, mm. Judge Alvarez, Judge Chan, and Judge Chaplin. That's uh, Langley, Kickwood, uh, Eddie Perry, Carl Thang, and uh, Michelle Levin. She was a team. Mm-hmm, mm. <laughs> and we have Luke Tyler as Freel. Was he the guy that got killed? No, no, no. He wasn't the he wasn't the the husband. Was he the husband that the girl shot in the head? Yeah, I think he so. looks like. Looks like they, yeah. Um. So we have this ver. Like, let's let's see what this version of, of Dread's uh, synopsis says. In a violent, futuristic city where the police have the authority to act as judge, jury, and executioner, a cop teams with a trainee. To take down a gang that deals the reality altering drug slow mo. Uh, so again, I'm not very familiar with the original original Judge Dredd's story. Like I remember the movie, but yeah. not the again, not not a person who read the book. But one thing I know is that the judges are judge of an executioner. Sylvester Stallone will tell you I am the law. I am the law. He said it here uh, too. Yes. This is true. <laughs> because they are the law. They are the um, law. So this one basically follows them. And I guess it was a test, right? Because in the beginning, there was the rookie's, like, her initial uh, first mission, I guess it was. Her first detail. Like, yeah. she's fresh out of the academy, I guess it was. And they put her with a, a judge. And it happened to be Dredd. And he allows her to choose where to go, and she chose that building because she says she came from a place like that. I'm not sure if she said it specifically that one. Yeah. But the reason she wanted to go to the, the I think they called those that was a mega city. Yeah. Where they went to? No, I think they're in the mega city, and I think that was like a mega complex or something like yeah. that. Yeah. A giant building. Um. But that was her way of giving back trying to patrol that place and it turns out that happened to be one of the biggest dealers strongholds yeah in mama um imagine, so they in, hmm? imagine you had to go downstairs to get milk and your elevators are ran or stop and you lived on the 102nd floor <laughs> well i'm drinking water <laughs> looks like i'm drinking water with my cereal today man that was way too big of a fucking building. Yes, but I mean, who's to say what the global climate will do to the to, to the planet True. and what megalomaniac with un, unlimited funds will try to make? That's Who true. knows what the future holds? True. They probably had delis um, uh, within the floors too. Well, okay. Well, look. So we at least know they have medic stations in there because that's one of the pit stops on the way up. It was the, remember the black guy behind the glass? Yeah. I didn't yeah. let them in because he was like, I'm impartial. And he, you see the little green plus sign on his window and stuff. So yeah. you could tell he was like first aid station or whatever. So they, they had some stuff there. Um, but what this turns into is basically is dread versus all the gangs. Yeah. All the gangs in this one lockdown facility basically turned into a prison for him. Yeah. He's locked in there with them, but then they find out they're locked in there with him. Yeah. Um I like how the the, the movie slowly like delves into the mutants. Cause the first thing you see of the mutants is not 
actually the girl doing anything. Yeah. It's the she's when they're walking in and you see her look back at the at the graffiti scrawled on the wall and it says no muties. Yeah. And that's kind of like a little bit of foreshadowing because then you find out she's a mutant. Yeah. She's a telepath. Um, like the, the 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 guy that they end up capturing to take with them, he's a scumbag. But you you hear the perception. He says. Oh, I thought all mutants had like a third arm or was like, you know, all messed up and stuff. Yeah. So that's the perception that they have is that they they physically they're mutated. So they didn't realize that they were they look like no some of them could have the telepathic powers and look like normal people. Yeah. Um I think they isn't the, isn't the tech guy like doesn't he have powers as well? Isn't he a mutant as well? I think so. Like he has some type of. Like, I forgot what like, it was. I, I I think he did, and I think he it had evolved with the technology he was using. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like he was just very tech savvy and shit. So, they had basically their own. So it was, they, he had ungodly yeah, yeah, so amounts I, of like. So their stores. All right. So when uh, like one because I'm watching the, in uh, IMDb they had the trailer playing, and their stores in, inside the complex. Okay. Okay. So. I answered right. that question. If what they'll do with food. <laughs> Still a lot of floors. It's a lot of floors. Um and no guardrails. You coming down. Um like, fuck it. so is basically self preservation at that point because the guy that they are that the that Dr- dread and the trainee arrest has all this information that would end up taking Mama and her gang down. There's no way he can't tell the truth because they have the telepath to basically dig into his mind, and so they want to. They, I mean, it's admirable that at first they want to recover him. Yeah. They don't want him. They don't want to kill him because he's a valuable member of the gang. So you have to go through all that, but then that basically turns, like we said. The, the prison into I mean uh, the the living complex into a, a, a nightmare for them because she's willing to pull out every last stop to kill Dredd. Yep. And so that's basically what it is. It's one man's mission, well two people's mission, to stop an entire army of thugs just to get this one woman because they because she locked them in there. Yeah. She, he was going to leave. He was about to leave. He was literally. 10 feet away from the exit and they smashed a homeless man <laughs> to keep them in there. it's messed up dude uh, and then I guess from there I guess you, you see what the drug slow-mo does yeah. and it looks cool as hell the effects like that's that's where the 3D budget went obviously um, and then the rest of it, I guess, you, it's it's more self-explanatory. It's just a, a an action film. It's the story of Dread and the trainee surviving the hell that is the gangs. Yeah. Um, like I can, it doesn't have to be super complicated, and that's what I like about it. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is not gonna win a, a Oscar or something like that. But damn it, if it's not one of my favorite movies that on this list, the action. Five, I'm just giving it a five. That for the action, the action sequences, the slow mo gunplay, the the innov, the, yeah, the, the innovative way they use the, the the weaponry and the guns and things like that. It, yeah, it's some of the most inventive out of everything we've seen. Yeah, I um, did like the gun. I did like how they had like the different rounds and shit like that of, of the gun that he could go like. On Lan Lito, he go explosive, he go this, he go that, just with the the tele- like, gun and shit. That was actually pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just saying, like the scenes too, like when he's sh- like, the first slow mo scene, when they kick in the door and everybody's high as hell, and they start and he starts blasting. Yeah. And the effects for the bullets going through people is disgusting. It's brutal. Like the way the faces tear and all that. Yeah. We they earned that already. Yeah. So like, th- that's one thing I did. I cinematography in this movie. Five. I'm giving it a five. 
I'm yeah. just saying. It's is for me is hitting all the check boxes, so you know what my score is gonna be. Yeah. It's a simple movie. You could watch it over and over. And it's just it, it, for an action film, it's just up there. It just really is. And then again, you have the choreography from the people from the raid from Daredevil. Yeah. So you know it's good. And it is good. So I, I really don't have too much more to say. Like, you give it? For me, it's a five. Five? All right. So your five, one system five is Captain America First Avenger. <sighs> All right. I'll put it behind Captain America. Alright, it's a dread. It'd be a five for you. I really enjoyed it. I thought the action scenes were good. Um, my only thing was, again, like this was made for 3D, so you could see the, the, the you could see the CG in, in the background and the, and the, what their sets and things like that. And that's the, the only thing that kind of threw me off was like the fake set and set. Like you could tell it was like a, a background and stuff like that. Other than that, like the action scenes are good. The fact that Carl Urban, I, I completely forgot he was in this movie, made me happy. I like Olivia Thornberry too, so I actually like those two as actors. Uh, I thought the villain was great. I thought she was an asshole. She was a evil, but she was great. Took a mm-hmm. whole Gatling gun and took a whole floor off just to shoot one person, which was fucked up. Um, but I enjoyed the movie, and I it, it, it's it's up there with action wise. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four two five for me. But it, it's it, it was really good. I was actually really happy to see it again. And I'm going over Scott. Pope. I'm going under Scott. Pope. Right. Um, to I, put it kind of kind of bluntly, this is how I would have did RoboCop. Yeah. Like it was 100%. very RoboCop. Yeah, I could see that. This was like that's why I like it so much. It's like this is Robocop. This is like the next generation of Robocop. Yeah. Well, we get to see Robocop eventually. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it, it's on the list. Um mm-hmm. so yeah, Dread. Uh I'll go four two five. But uh, yeah, I, I extremely enjoyed it and stuff like that. I had my little hit grips with the if it's just visually wise, but other than that I thought the movie was really solid. Our next movie on this long list, we start 2013 with Iron Man 3. Okay. Okay. And then we got Man of Steel. We got Lone Ranger. We got R.I.P.D. We have Red 2, The Wolverine, Snowpiercer, Two Guns, Kick-Ass 2, Thor, The Dark World. And then uh, 2014, we'll kick off with I, Frankenstein, and Robocop. Ah, okay. It's not that far. Okay. And then Winter Soldier's right after that. Mm. Oh, that's I think oh. that's gonna be my first five right there. That's that's gonna be another five for me. Yeah, yeah. I have no <laughs> fives yet, so I think that's gonna be my first. Um, but yeah, it was good. Oh, did you see the the um, that they have a date for the RoboCop game? It's a, is it sometime in October, right? November, like the first week of November, actually. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Good stuff, and and it's I think it's selling for like fifty bucks. So I was like, huh, I yeah, might no, actually try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is only like fifty dollars. I hope they put out a demo for that game. Or oh, like a little, yeah, Robocop. I do. I do too. I do too. It looks interesting. It looks like it's yeah. going to be a fun game, but it also looked like it could be limited to a lot of things as well. It looks like it might be a compact experience, is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, so it's not it's not gonna be that long, which I don't think it needs to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Right, wrap this up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for listening to another episode of the. It gets better. Oh, Scott Steiner does not want to hear it. <laughs> He's like, nope. He's like, no. We, you didn't talk about me enough. We talked about your nephew, man. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Thank you for listening to the episode of the It Gets Better, I Swear podcast. Make sure you check us out anywhere and everywhere. Red Cyclone Inc. That is Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. That is YouTube. That is SoundCloud. That is Spotify. Yep. And we got a WordPress. Where you at? 
Follow me on Instagram, Tom the Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and Twitch, or Mark the Mike. Also follow my TikTok on Mark the Mike. I post a lot of figure photography and everything else in between. So definitely check it out when you get a chance. Also, shout outs to Tenacious T, uh, Tenacious T, Sriracha, Jeremy Sriracha, and Straw Hat Tide. They do a podcast called Popcorny. Definitely check it out. It's on Spotify, Popcorny. Always remember, follow the Jinkies. Get set for the vibe unfolding. See life like an action sequence. Put it down, let the beat start rolling. Upload to the mainframe. I'm on a satellite holding it. I see my people stepping it up now. Download that. We go with it. We got them moves, got them vibes. We got the strategy, do it all night. Do it all day, no wasting time. We got the crew getting ready for the ride. We got them moves, got them vibes. We got the strategy, do it all night. Do it all day, no wasting time. We got the crew getting ready for the ride. We got them moves, got them vibes. We got the strategy, do it all night. Get ready for the ride.